Taylor lived her life very much in the present moment, and remarkably in her short life, she began living out her dreams of traveling and teaching young students English while living in Japan. This memorial bench area that we are dedicating today in Taylor's honor says to all of us, and mostly to our students, dream big, because if you do, you can achieve. Taylor was beloved by everyone who knew her, her professors, her friends, her Japanese colleagues, her young students, all of whom were touched by her intelligence, passion, and kindness, and the impact that she had on others during her life is one that will never be forgotten. And this memorial bench area on the campus of her alma mater marks a very special place honoring the exchange of ideas and friendship between America and Japan, RMC and ISU, and our partnerships with other institutions and students around the globe. It will be a place to gather for our students, faculty, staff, and visitors to remember the beautiful life of Taylor Anderson. Her zest for living, the enthusiasm she had for helping others, and the love that she had for learning and teaching. These are her trademarks memorialized in this special place. Taylor Anderson was a Pacific cosmopolitan. She saw the culture and beauty of Japan and wanted to learn all that she could about it. And she wanted to share that culture with her family and her friends and even perfect strangers in the United States. I think Taylor must be pleased by how far her legacy of cultural exchange between the U.S. and Japan has reached. Randolph Macon College alone has received two grants in Taylor's honor in the years since her death. These grants from the Japan Foundation Center for Global Partnerships and from the Tomodachi Initiative and Taylor Anderson Memorial Fund both have emphasized the importance of cultural exchange between the U.S. and Japan. And they've done so in a way that is a fitting tribute to Taylor, who saw herself as a bridge between the two countries and sought to deepen the relationships between the people both here and abroad. Taylor loved to read ever since she was a child and books opened up the world for her. She started a book club called Randolph Readers while she was here. Thus, this seating area by the library with the dogwood and cherry trees couldn't be a more fitting honor to Taylor. Randolph Macon's dedication to Japanese exchange and academic programs, especially in Ashinomaki where Taylor taught, continued to help Taylor's second home recover while teaching us all valuable lessons about the resiliency of the human spirit. This seating area is a wonderful setting to reflect on all that and latch on to some of that spirit that Taylor left with us. We thank RMC for knowing Taylor so well and carrying her spirit forward as we try to do every day. It is an honor to have you as a partner in this endeavor. Thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu.